hello and welcome to the habitat of the slender-tailed meerkat. Now for the outdoor habitats, they're covered in a sandy soil substrate. This allows for the meerkats to engage in their natural digging behaviors. Also in the habitat, they have long movable logs and an orangey colored fake fixed termite mound. The logs in the termite mound allow for climbing structures and provide shade. Also providing shade throughout the habitat are small bushes and there are also green patches throughout of grass as well. The slender-tailed meerkat is one of the smaller animals found on the African savanna. Though they are small, they have many adaptations that allow them to thrive in the harsh environment. First of all, they're small. Meerkats tend to get up to about 24 inches long. Their body is about the length of an American football, and then you add another seven to nine inches for their tail. Meerkats come in many different colors. They can be tan, brown, or a dark gray, but they all do have similar markings. Down their back, they are striped with a darker gray band. Their tail is a long, slender tail, and at the end, it has a characteristic black tip. It looks as if it was dipped in an inkwell. Meerkats have dark patches over their eyes, and we believe that this is to help with the glare on the African savanna. Think about an American football player when they put those black stripes under their eyes. It's the same thing. Now, meerkats live in a territorial society called mobs. Their mobs can be made up of, of up to 50 individuals, and it's made of many, many families. For the mob, there's usually at least one individual acting as a sentinel. A sentinel is a lookout, and they will perch up high so that they can keep an eye on the other meerkats that are down below foraging for food or guarding the young. If the sentinel does see a predator coming from above or below, they have different calls to indicate where the predator is coming from, which will allow the other meerkats to act appropriately to get to safety. Meerkats are insectivores. This means that they enjoy eating insects. They also eat spiders, scorpions, snakes, eggs, leaves, and occasionally fruit. Now, meerkats are able to hunt scorpions and snakes that are venomous because they have a natural immunity to the venom. In the wild, meerkats are listed as a least concerned species. This means that unlike many of their African counterparts, they are not at risk of extinction anytime soon. Now, despite this, there are still things that we can do to help meerkats stay on the least concern list. It's as easy as reducing your inner energy consumption. You can carpool, bike to work, or you can unplug your electronics when you're not using them.